Donald Trump has made it clear throughout his time in the political spotlight that no one is off limits when it comes to his insults and disgusting rhetoric, not the disabled, not you. S. War veterans, not his fellow GOP politicians, and not even a dead man whose family is still very much in mourning. Trump posted disparaging tweets about the late Senator John McCain, R. As, whose death from brain cancer got entirely too much attention for the spotlight seeking, thin skinned president, on Sunday. On Tuesday, he doubled down on his remarks during a press conference in the Oval Office, telling reporters he was never a fan of McCain's. Bill Weld, the former governor of Massachusetts from 1991 to 1997, is considering a primary challenge to Trump in the GOP race. Like many Republicans disgusted with Trump's embarrassing Twitter attacks and destruction of the GOP, he was appalled by Trump's continued bashing of Sen. McCain. On Twitter, he referred to the attacks as contemptible, saying that they are beneath our dignity as Americans. Apparently, enough Americans have no dignity when it comes to politics, racism, misogyny, and Islamophobia. No matter how many times Trump proves that he's giving a voice and a platform to white supremacists, his fans remain, but only because they don't care if white supremacy is emboldened by Trump. It doesn't affect the vast majority of them, and neither does Trump's complete annihilation of their own party.